They take away your favorite uh, YouTube preacher. Ah, uh, you'll live. <clears throat> they start to say, listen, you gotta cover up that Christian stuff. We're here in the workplace. We don't want to offend Bob who dresses up like Mary every Sunday and wears a tutu around the office. So, I can compromise a little bit. I'll just shove it in my shirt. The church pastor tells you, listen, we've decided to evolve our stance. We're going to start having homosexual marriages being conducted here. You say, huh? Who am I to judge? And then before you know it, you'll wake up one day to a brand new society. Or you go to the store, you go to the ATM, and you try to take out some money. And they say, have you not heard? Things have changed overnight. The European Union, the United Nations, the leaders of the world have all come together to bring forth a new currency. Every bit of cash that you own is worthless. But that's okay, because we've, re we've replaced it with credits. It's not Bitcoin, it's not gold or silver, it's credits. And you have to go to your nearest census office. You and your family have to be counted, and you have to take a new mark, a new identification, because now your social securities won't work. Everybody's going to be given a new, a new start of life. You, 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 you know, if you, if you don't make enough, it's, it's going to be redistributed. It, it, these credits are going to help so many people. I feel like a cyborg. Here you go. You're a proud member now. Indeed. Part of the club. Just like that. And within minutes, I was meeting with their tech team to get my chip programmed. I guess what you're saying, to sort of put it in layman's terms, if I, I wouldn't need to take this out until we live in that futuristic world where everything's wireless, cash is gone, autonomous vehicles take us everywhere, and I'm just beeping my way through my day. Really, probably you'd never have to take it out, and this is what we think is going to propel us into that next stage in life, the cashless society like they're doing overseas already. This would facilitate that because you wouldn't need to carry any cards or cash. Everything would literally be stored on the chip. And you're confused and you say, whoa, what's going on here? And you start to realize, wait a minute, did this just happen? Did this just come at my doorstep? Am, am I ready for this? I mean, I know that we were coming up on it. I knew with all the purgings and the censorship, but whoa, what is this? And you go home and you listen to the news and you realize that your favorite news stations are off the mainstream news outlets. And now it's just uh, the stations that you wouldn't even think twice to look at. And they were just bombarding the news. And there's 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 news all over. And there's there's uh, little civil wars breaking out, many ones. And it's not too much because now we got uh, the United Nations military coming in. And they're saying that they've erased the borders of the lands of the countries. Everyone's become borderless for the sake of inclusivity. And the United Nations and the European Union and, and all these countries have already been working on this and they know what's best for the world, for the global citizens of the world. Everyone should be a global citizen because we live in a very interconnected and interdependent world. We can't, we live in an age and time when we cannot be without understanding the other. Since we are part of the world, we have the responsibility to make our world better. Everyone should be a global citizen because we live in one society and as what the Ubuntu said, I am because you are and because you are I am. So everyone is interconnected and that everyone has to be aware and has to be respectful and has to embrace the concept of diversity. And it's no longer about you being black or white. It's no longer you being a U.S. citizen or if you're, if you're a Mexican from Mexico or if, if you're from China. You're, you are now a global citizen of the new world, of this world order. And this will be better for everybody. This is going to save the life of the planet. The planet has been in distress. Birds are dying, fish are dying, beasts are dying. We have to have emergency efforts to do this. And so we've decided to do this. And we've decided to eliminate haters. We need to arrest the haters. You know who these haters are. I was thirsty, but you did not give me anything to drink. For engaging in unlawful conduct. So I'm going to read from Ezekiel 16. At this time, this was the you will be arrested. This is your she first warning. Senators! We put you on notice. Your souls are in danger. And this is your final warning. Amen. If you do not cease and desist at this time, you will be arrested. This is your second warning. Second warning. And your people, they lived right. And now you are a city full of murderers. 
You're still working with the United States Capitol Police. You're engaging in unlawful conduct. Your leaders have to do not see any of this at this time. You will be arrested. This is your third and final warning. Oh God, may your presence powerfully keep us and give us strength. Oh God, we serve you and we stand in this place that the judgment of your righteousness and peace might be upon this place. Great, great is your power and greatly to be praised. Yes. You, oh God, are great above all kings, all rulers, right. all authorities. If you see them, you need to report them right away. And if we find that you're harboring one, we will arrest you. We will have to punish you. And you start to get frenzied. You start to get nervous. You start thinking, wait a minute, this is what the Bible says. Is this it? Are we here? And you go to your nearest. You say, I'm going to go to the house of God. I'm going to go to my church. Surely my church would know what to do. And you go in and you see that the place is packed to capacity. And you're saying, it's not even a service. Why is it so packed in here? And you see in moments later that the pastor comes up nervously shaking, saying, listen, we've been working with the governing officials for quite some time. We've been working with the authorities without your knowledge because we knew what was best for you. We are the sheep. You are to submit to governing authority. And when they tell you that you must take this new identification mark, you are just simply to obey them. This is what the word of God says in Romans chapter 13. start screaming and they say no no this is the mark of the beast and quickly quickly militant people from not even from the u.s come in and they shut they drag them away and order is immediately restored back in that church and the pastor says you don't have to go very far for we have a kiosk right there in the back We've waited for such a time as this. Please understand, everything's okay, everything's fine, don't worry. And you try to figure out what's going on, and you're talking, you're, you're trying to talk to the congregation, and some are saying, you know, this isn't bad, this is what we've been needing, these are these are getting out of hand. We needed to save the trees and the beasts and, uh, you know, the animals and, 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 and the dolphins. We needed to save them. Others are saying, no, man, this is a mark of the beast. Others are saying, I'm not ready, I'm not ready, I don't know what to do. Is it here? This can't be. Others say, no, this can't be it because we're supposed to be raptured out of here first. I'll prove it. I'll prove this isn't the mark of the beast. I'll be the first one in line. Mark me up. It's just a new identification. They're not calling it mark of the beast for crying out loud. And they take the mark and they say, see, I'm still the same. Until all of a sudden their eyes glaze over and they walk out like a robot, never to be seen again because their soul has been damned for all eternity. They become walking zombies. And now you see a reality that you thought would never come in your lifetime or you thought that you wouldn't be here to see because you thought you were going to be out of here. Folks, this is how close we are right now with all that's taking place. And you may say, come on, evangelist, aren't you taking this a little too far? Do you really have to take it this far? Yes! Yes! This is preparing us for the Antichrist, this new 